Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome back to Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Last time we took on Crystal Flight, and this time we're gonna take on Wizard Peak. Um, I actually like Wizard Peak. Funny enough, um, <laughs> God damn it! All right, we're gonna just head in there. Uh, Wizard Peak is really nice. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, if we took the hidden pathway, there's a hidden pathway, by the way, in um, Wizard Peak. If we take the hidden pathway at the beginning of the level. Uh, we can take out some of the snow wizards, which doesn't sound like that'd be too, too helpful because they need to make the snowmen up here, the abominable snowmen to appear. Uh, but, because they make the, the, the snowmen up here. But, um, yeah, you can take them out. You can grab the, the treasures so we don't have to worry about it later. Um, I've noticed that a lot of the enemies, they just attack so much faster in this game than, than the remake, than the, the original. I mean... Like those snowmen, they weren't not hitting me in the, the original game, but in this one, bam, I get hit by like all of them. And the hidden passageway leads to that area right over there. We'll be going over there in a minute. No worries. Um, I think the reason why I didn't is just because then I would have to like go back and, and grab this guy, and then we have to run back to go through all the rooms. You know what I mean? Like it's just more cumbersome doing that. Well, anyway, we're gonna open up and save our boy Jarvis out here. To Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Well, you're wrong, Jarvis, because the best supercharged spot is in treetops. <laughs> um, I think you got a skill point here. Or maybe it's a trophy if you charge into all the ice mages. So we're gonna try doing that. Um I think it's like bowling or something like that. <laughs> something it's something silly. So we're gonna take out the, the ice mages real quick. Let's see if I can take out like two of them. There we go. Almost. Hold on, can I take out the other guys? There we go. And taking them all out normally gives you like a skill point or a trophy or something like that. Or maybe you get a skill point for doing it all at once. I forget, I don't remember. It's one of those. Um, and we're gonna accidentally open up Hexus over here. What's up, Hexus? Thank you for releasing me. Yeah, you're welcome, bro. Is that a griffin you got on your staff? What the fuck? Anyway. Cool dragon designs. Uh, uh, later. <laughs> We're going to have to make this jump. And this jump is a little tricky. We're going to need to have at least two supercharges um, to make it through. And we're going to try and take out... Oh, he got me. Dang. Got me. Yo, what? Anyway, um, we're gonna try and take out the nan and the nanas, uh, the ones over here at least. There's two in this level. They have the last two eggs, and they shouldn't be too bad. This one is near a pool, like the other one, and I didn't even mean to kill him. He just didn't run, so that's on him. Normally, I like to jump across those pools to, to grab them, but that guy was just allowing me to do that. He didn't seem to mind all that much. <laughs> um, oh shit, you can kill them? Lit. I didn't know that. Well, anyway, Lucas here is going to tell us an interesting secret. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Is that a is that a precursor orb? Waterfall. Sounds good. Yo, does Lucas have a precursor orb on his head from Jack and Daxter? Nice. <laughs> Jack and Daxter remaster is uh, reignited. Uh, confirmed. <laughs> um, here's a reinforced chest. We can only get it through a supercharge. Uh, but we'll, we'll we'll get that in a second. Um, there are a few gems up here that I need to grab. Or I'm just gonna grab it real quick because I'm impatient like that. Never mind. I didn't grab those gems either. I just kind of let them chill there. Well, anyway, um, we're gonna head down here and we're gonna mess up this jump horribly. So you need two super jumps to make this jump. Or not. You can do it in one. I lied. Okay. Maybe I was thinking about this jump. And I was just thinking about the remake and not the original okay 
Because in the in the original video, if you guys have seen that one, I mentioned that you can make this in one jump, but I couldn't, and I had to do it in two. So I guess you could do it in the remake, but not in the... Which is funny, because in Treetops, there's a jump you can make in one cycle. You don't have to have a double jump, a double ramp to make it. But in this game, you need that double ramp to make that one jump in Treetops. Absurd. Okay, well, regardless. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I wasn't misremembering. I was right. Like I always am. Anyway, we're going to uh, make this jump right over here uh, by taking that double, the double supercharge. Destroy some of these chests real quick. And then there's a nana and a nana uh, around the bend over here. And you're just going to flame him. He's not going to run, I don't think. At least I don't remember him running. And that'd be really messed up if he did start running because that's a really narrow walkway. So you might fall if he starts to run. Well, anyway, that's all the eggs in the game. All 12 of them. And now we're going to start finding our secret paths. Also, I didn't grab these two gems, I don't think. Yep. Click, click. Bang. All right. So now the secret paths that you're going to find are in the beginning of the level. Right over here. You can just glide down there like normal. Uh, take out our little sheep friends while Sparks is being paid to eat and not being paid to grab my fucking money. Uh, we're going to climb up here. Take this uh, whirlpool. This whirlpool. This whirlwind up here. And we're going to grab some more treasure. Um, over here, there's a jump to the left. It's going to tell us to jump off the cliff. And we're going to find our little ice wizard friend down over here. We're going to kill him. He has about 14 gems, I want to say. And now we're going to head back to um, the beginning. Cause we have some more gems to collect. So we're going to head back to where we was. Uh, right before that jump, if we jump in the opposite direction, we're going to land on top of a castle. So let's just quickly fly up there. We, we. All right, there we go. Uh, we're going to jump from here, I guess. We can make it over here, I think. Sick. And um, then over here, we're going to jump down. Oh, no, we're not. There's some gems over here. Or not. I thought there was gems over there. I'm mistaken. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're gonna just jump down here. We're gonna kill, uh, I mean, destroy these chests. We're gonna fly over here and take out this ice wizard, and he's gonna be the last 10 gems. And since he's my last uh, gem, we've 100% of the completed the level. And just like that, we are done with Wizard Peak. So, uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. Next up is going to be the boss of. I almost said Dreamweaver's World. What is this? Magic Crafters? Magic Crafters World. And that's going to be Blowhard. So, um, I'm kind of excited. I don't really like Blowhard, but that's okay. See y'all next time.